Hey, what up all my tooth doctors and doctresses? Welcome to another video at the Tooth Factory. Today's topic is extremely important and amazing, but before we begin, I do want to send a notice for all of us that this is not for international dentists. It is for internationally graduated dental hygienists. This is NDHCB's process for internationally graduated non-accredited dental hygienists to come to Canada on either international student visa or immigration and get their entry to practice licensure for dental hygiene. Here are the steps on how to do it and the details discussed. I do want to tell you that majority of this information is vast. In order to get more in-depth knowledge of the same, please contact the NDHCB directly. I hope this also gets us started on our process. Without much ado, here we go. So in the address bar here, I have typed ndhcb.ca. The link to this website is located in the description box below. We come to a page that says it is changing. The NDHCB and FDHRC are amalgamated. Now there's nothing to worry about in this. All it means is their name is changing. They are now gonna be called Federation of Dental Hygiene Regulators of Canada, right? Their regulation boundaries are changing, but their functions are not. So for example, they will carry out evaluations of the credentials of graduates of non-accredited dental hygiene programs. And that makes us the internationally trained dental hygienists. Now guys, I will keep repeating this point throughout the video. This is not for dentists. Graduated dentists are not associated with this. This is a graduation of non-accredited dental hygienists only. So for example, if you guys in your country are dental hygienists and you come to Canada, then you can directly take your licensing exam. Let's see how. I'm going to open this link here, FDHRC, because that is the new entry to practice Canadian competences for dental hygiene. They will be providing us the entire guidelines for how to become a dental hygienist licensed in Canada. So this is their headquarters website. Let's take a look at equivalency assessment process. First of all, we need to understand what this equivalency process is. So the equivalency process is, is written for graduates of dental hygiene program, so specifically dental hygienists only guys, that have not been accredited by the Commission of Dental Accreditation of Canada. This is what we call CDAC, right? When you're not accredited by CDAC or CODA, this equivalency process is for you. So equivalency assessment is different for, for the province of Quebec, so please keep that aside. Application, uh, applicants wanting to work in this province should contact their own regulation body. Okay, now we know that if you have done dental hygiene back home and you are in Canada, wanting to come to Canada and student's visa and work permit or anyhow, you want to practice dental hygiene, this is the way to go. It's three simple steps. Step one, assessing academic qualifications. See, applicants must first have their National Dental Hygiene Certification Board assess their course of study. Basically, if you're eligible to take the national written examination or not. Therefore, you must con contact the board itself. The fees and all we will take a look at in just a minute. I will open the tab here on the side. After that, the examinations are taken, right? Say, just like other fields, you apply, you become equivalent, and then you take exams. First of all, there are two kinds of exams. One, written certification exam. And second, cl clinical competency performance-based exam, which is very straightforward, right? Assistance has that, dentistry has that, and now dental hygiene has that. This examination is offered by the board and of course their office can be contacted through this information that we just saw. The NDHCB provides a guide, sample questions for the candidates to prepare for this exam as well. So we will, che we will check the uh, prep exams as well in just a minute. Once you have cleared this, we are required to successfully complete a provincial performance-based exam. That's your clinical competence. Basically, applicants who graduated from non-accredited dental hygiene program, again, guys, this is not dentistry, this is dental hygienists, are required to successfully complete 
a clinical competency exam. The clinical competency exam is currently held at least once a year in British Columbia, Alberta and Ontario. So just for the exam, we would have to travel to those provinces. At the end of it, applicants are eligible to complete clinical competency if they have already successfully completed the written exam or their course of study has been approved by the province. So if you did dental hygiene diploma, you can also take this exam. But if you are already a dental hygienist back home, then you might as well go through the licensing process, right? Because step three and the last step is registration for licensing. How simple is that, you guys? You can be licensed dental hygienists in Canada. So minimum requirements. How do you actually sign up for this exam, right? In order to be considered for equivalency process, you must have these criteria met, right? Criteria one. Applicant, applicant must be graduated with a diploma in dental hygiene only, not dentistry. Dental hygiene program must be established in a separate school, faculty or division, not as a part of another program. It must be a minimum of two years of a program back home. So you must have had a diploma that is two to three years long back home. A program must have learning outcomes and competencies, basically all those activities that fall within the scope of dental hygiene. That's what they must have. Now, I do also want to show you the actual exam dates. So in 2022, the dates of exams are January 17, 17 18, May 24, 25, and September 19, 20. Three times a year this year, right? And an application deadline seemed to be just about two months prior to the exam dates. So just something to keep in mind if you're considering the 2023 route, make sure the application deadlines are met. Again, the links are in the description box below, so don't you worry, you guys. Here I have opened a little map that is also provided in the links in the description box below. This is how we have a roadmap to process to dental hygiene. First of all, decide which province you want to go to. Does that regulatory body require the board certification? Most of it is yes. So let's go into a yes here. Did you receive dental hygiene education from an accredited North American school? Well, in our case, it would be no, right? We're international students. Therefore, we must apply to the equivalency assessment process. We just looked at the three steps. That's this equivalency assessment process. Did you receive positive results in the exams? If yes, then you can apply for the board certification itself. And then you pass that certification exam complete the regulatory authorities requirements like your you know jurisdiction laws and ethics exam and you can become a certified dental hygienist now i'm going to bring you back to the fdhrc's website just to point something out which is very very important because i don't want any misunderstandings amongst our viewers applicants who graduated in dentistry i really need you to consider this Unless an applicant has successfully completed a program of study in dental hygiene, it is unlikely that applicant's course of study would be considered equivalent for dental hygiene program. So for applicants who graduated in dentistry, who are interested in dental hygiene, they recommend that they would take approved programs in dental hygiene. Basically, they want you to do a diploma if you're a dentist. And then last but not the least, international applicants. When international applicants should do which steps? So let's take a look at it. Before immigrating to Canada, regulatory bodies will accept and process of application of registration from another country. So they will accept your application from back home itself. When the applicants arrive in Canada, you could choose to wait for the application, but you don't have to. And then a language proficiency test that is a given when students visa is given or immigration is given we always take the IELTS or TOEFL exam correct and then occupational training and upgrading so if the applicant has not practiced dental hygiene for a certain amount of time and their application is rejected then we must go through professional training and upgrading but generally that doesn't happen now I want to take you back to the practice tests so I'm going to go exam and preparation test I'm going to scroll down and here it says there are four different versions of the prep test. 
The cost of each is $32 plus tax and all tests must be paid by credit cards. To purchase a prep test, here's the website. So we would click on it. You would go to the, again, FDHRC website, make an account here and purchase that test. And let's also discuss the fees in 2022. So the National Dental Hygiene Certification Examination first attempt is $725 in applicable taxes, depending on which province you're at. So that's the fees this year. This includes $115 plus tax non-refundable fee as well, right? Equivalency evaluation, $1,030 with applicable taxes. Now this is for international graduates who need the evaluations done, right? I also want to show you guys a quick links section here with a sample question of the board exam that we will come across. This document is also posted in the PDF link below. Here are the practice questions you can attend to. And last but not the least, here are the reference materials that are used to create the exam for dental hygiene licensure. So guys, I hope you guys learned something new today. We tried to compile as much important information in this short video as much as possible. For any more information, please contact the NDHCB directly. The links that we went through during this video are in the description box below. And for any more questions, feel free to reach out to us and we will help you solve the answers. Please like, share and subscribe for more content like this and stay tuned for more important information and academic lectures from the Tooth Factory.